Hello guys, I recently went to see a musical called Singing in the Rain. I'm sure you've heard of it. I certainly had before I went to see it. And um, I thought I'd, you know, share my thoughts about it. Singing in the Rain, for anyone who doesn't know, is a um, very famous American musical from the 1950s. It wasn't originally a stage show. It was first made um, as a musical film. But since then, obviously, it's been staged in various countries and stuff. Now, although I said I'd heard of this show, obviously, because it's very famous, Singing in the Rain, everyone knows the song, um, I never actually watched the film, um, so I didn't really know what the plot was, or I didn't know anything about the story. My dad always used to, like, and he still does, he always, like, sings the song, Singing in the Rain, whenever, you know, every now and then he just, whenever he gets bored, he just sings the song, because he likes it, and that's the only reason I knew of the show, basically. I actually went to see the show with my dad because I thought he would really enjoy it um, and I'm glad I did because we both really loved it. The show is at the Palace Theatre in London which is one of the biggest theatres, West End theatres um, and I think that was very appropriate because the show definitely needs a big audience I think um, and a big stage. The story is quite nice, um, very romantic, uh, a bit cheesy if I'm honest but it doesn't matter because it, it was still very enjoyable to watch and it, was, it wasn't bad cheesy, it was really nice kind of happy cheesy that you can enjoy. Very briefly, the show's about this guy, like, film star, who meets this other girl, and they kind of fall in love. And there's this other girl as well, who is actually the guy's co-star, and they've been doing films together for a long time. The guy isn't particularly clean on the other girl, because the girl's a bit annoying, um, and yet the other girl thinks that the guy's actually in love with her. Things happen, and there's some problems with um, one of the latest films, and so they have to get um, the guy's, the film star's new love interest um, to kind of help out with, with the film, somehow and you know without giving too much away it just ends very very happily and romantically so yeah that's pretty much the basic plot of it obviously there's more to it like details and stuff but i'm not going to go into details the main guy the film star um, who's called don lockwood was played by adam cooper he was absolutely phenomenal wow what an amazing dancer i mean there's a lot of dancing involved in this show a lot of tap dancing and you know general dancing and it was just so good so nice to to watch and um yeah he's just really really talented also i didn't know this like i genuinely didn't know this until after i got the program but adam cooper's actually been in billy elliot the, the film billy elliot the 2000 film um yeah he plays um billy's older self so he's got like a really small scene in it but that's amazing wow Don Lockwood's love interest, um, Kathy Selden, was played by Scarlett Strollen. She was also amazing. I mean, she's got really, really good comic timing. Um, uh, there was a scene in particular that I really liked in Act 1 when um, um, Don meets her for the first time. I thought that was very funny and she acted it perfectly. She's also got a really, really good voice that I really enjoyed to listen to. And yeah, very, very good. One of the other main roles is um, Cosmo Brown, who's Don's friend. And that was played by um, Daniel Crossley. He was also very good. But for me, the star of the show was Catherine Kingsley, who plays Lena Lamont. Now, Lena Lamont is that annoying girl that I was talking about, you know, the girl who's been acting with Don Lockwood for a while and Don Lockwood doesn't really like her. She's meant to have this, like, really annoying, grating voice that you just can't stand. But at the same time, she's meant to come across as, as quite a likeable, funny character. And I thought... Um, yeah, Catherine did a brilliant job of that, really. She really, really portrayed her very well. The main thing about her character is that she, she's she got problems like speaking and her diction isn't very good and she's just got a really annoying voice, like I said. And Catherine was just so good at this. It was really weird to say that, but she was so good. Oh, I was, there's a scene, I think it was in um, Act 2, where she's on stage for quite a while on her own and she's like really annoyed and stuff. Um, you know, she's kind of she, she's kind of sad thinking that people don't like her and stuff. She's kind of trying to reassure herself that she's still a star and blah 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 and it was hilarious everybody in the audience absolutely loved her so yeah i think she's an absolute star and i really really hope that she um wins an olivia tomorrow because she's actually been nominated for um best um best supporting role in the musical i think so yeah she, she definitely deserves that the ensemble were also very good um you know there's a lot of um like big ensemble dance numbers which i'm a big fan of personally i love it when there's like loads of people on the stage doing dance different dances and stuff um, and there's a lot of that in, in Singing in the Rain. And I thought everyone was perfect. You know, the dancing was just a joy to watch, to be honest. It was just seeing all those people on stage dance so brilliantly made me want to learn to dance. I mean, of course, I'm never going to be as good as them, but it just made me want to go up there and dance and or just do something. I do have to give a warning, though. Um, obviously, because it's called Singing in the Rain, there is a bit of rain and water involved in the show. I was sat in the front row because I got a day seat. Um, and by the end of Act 1, I was wet and by the end of act two i was very very wet so yeah basically if you're in the first few rows then you know 
don't expect to come out of the show completely dry because there's going to be rain on stage and they're going to be jumping on it and doing different dances and yeah there's going to be rain splashing in your face and stuff but I actually personally really enjoyed that I mean I was a bit ill when I was watching the show like I had a bit of a fever the night before and I wasn't feeling too well so I was a bit annoyed at first I was like why why did I do this this is not good not at this time you know at this moment in time that I'm kind of not feeling well but then you know at the end of the day it was just fun and I really enjoyed it and I think that just add, added to the to the fun and entertainment of the show and honestly I didn't think it was going to be my thing because it's a very old-fashioned musical um, the, the songs are very old-fashioned um, they're very nice I mean I like the songs but I wouldn't necessarily go and by the sound, the, the cast recording and listen to it over and over again. It's not really my type of music, but you know, I, I enjoyed listening to the songs, you know, live um, when I was watching the show. And yeah, I'd, I'd love to see it again at some point. It's a good show and I hope it does well. The night I went, the, the, the whole theatre was completely full. I mean, like I said, the Palace Theatre is really big and I don't think there was an empty seat in the house, to be honest. So it looks like it's doing pretty well, which is good because it deserves to do well. And that is all I'm going to say about the show. If you've got the chance to go and see it, um, please go because it's a really good show and it's one of those shows that everyone can enjoy and it's going to make you appreciate dance and it's it's funny, it's a comedy and there's some good songs in there, lots of great, you know, dances so you won't be disappointed. That's all I have for you today, um, Olivia was tomorrow, let's see how that goes. Bye!